All right, we're live. How's everybody doing again? This is Jose Trujillo, world's greatest living artist. Coming to you from the art studio. From the art studio with another little segment right here. Uh, I'm going to frame this painting and I know that some of you are like, dude, I want to know how to frame paintings. I want to know how you do it. Ah, oh, get your Starbucks ready. Get your best beverage ready. Join me. Join me in this moment. I beg you to join. <laughs> Look, this is a, this is a little uh, plein air painting that I did. And it's a canvas board. Okay. Uh, notice the yellowing. This is why I don't like using uh, uh, oils anymore. Other oil. Uh, the yellowing in the back. I like using walnut oil. Now, this doesn't do anything bad to the painting. It just kind of stains it. But I use walnut oil now, which is not yellowing. Uh, I'm upside down. <laughs> I turned it around. Turn your phones around, guys. Please turn your phones around so you can see the, 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 uh, horizontal. You can see it landscaped. This is a, a little, uh, plain air frame. Okay. You can get this one's just about any of the big box stores. Very cool frames, very cool, very cool stuff. Uh, and this is the back of it. It's an eight by ten, and I'm gonna show you. I'm gonna show you exactly how I framed this bad boys. I know a lot of people out there have been asking, and I'm like, I'm like, dude, you gotta do it. Show me how to frame it. Go 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 go. How little boy? How little boy? Show me how to frame it and whatnot. You know, be super awesome that way. So, we're going to do it. Go, go, boy. Let's do it, dude. Here we go. Let's do this. Let's see what this whole thing is about. <laughs> Thank you so much. So we're going to turn around. Very first thing I'm going to turn around. Okay. And I'm going to put. This is a canvas print. A canvas, not a canvas print. This is a canvas board. Okay. It's a canvas board. I'm going to turn around. I'm going to put it right here. Bam. Then I'm going to get this. This is boxing tape. Okay. Very helpful. Cut a piece. You see, you notice how I cut in there? I'm gonna press down on this. Look at that. I'm gonna do the same thing on the side. I'm just gonna cut a piece that it's long enough to cover this thing like that. Bam. You see that? Then we're going to flip it around. And then we're going to cut right here, the corners. Check it out. Look at that. Now this is boxing tape, okay? You won't get it, you won't get it just anywhere. You have to go online and get it. It's really, it's boxing, it's cardboard tape. It's, it's paper. If you don't have this, you can, you can do other stuff. But uh, this is the, this is the one I like the best. Look at that. Now you don't have to worry about putting staples on this thing or anything. It's very simple, very easy to do. You just cut the excess of it. Look at that. Bam. Any cool? That's what I'm talking about. 
Now, once you did this, what I like to do is I like to reinforce it. Okay? Let me get some tape over here. Uh, to reinforce the sides. And just with some clear tape. I'm going to use some clear tape to reinforce the sides. Mm -hmm. Tape is something we use a lot of here in this studio. So I'll do the same thing, but I'll just cut a little piece, right? The trick about tape, though, is that you don't want to stretch it because if you stretch it, you lose you lose the, you lose the integrity of the tape. My wife and I, we're going to do a full class on this. A full class because I know some people are wondering, well, where do you get the stuff? And where exactly do you cut? And blah, blah, blah. And on and on. And we're going to be doing a full class. Uh, exactly how to frame, not just this paintings, but if your paintings are, are, are different. They're not just, they're not just cam uh, canvas boards, but they're stretch canvas. And this is to reinforce it right here, look. Because knowledge is power, guys, but you got to have the right knowledge, right? Look at that. You see that? Now you need double-sided tape because I'm cool like that. I'm sharing all my cool stuff. The most artists are quiet about this stuff. I'm like, dude, whatever. I'll share it. Sharing is caring. Look at that. But you didn't know that trick, huh? Bam! Get a little bit of double-sided tape over here. Now, why do I use double-sided as opposed to glue or or clear um, paste to use it? Some artists use clear paste. Because glue is fast. I mean, because this is faster. Double-sided tape is faster. And it's, and it's just as strong. It'll stay there. It's not going to go anywhere. As a matter of fact, the more time it's there, the more it bonds, right? Because that's what tape does. Try getting it off a window or something. See how, how see how fun that is. After it's been there for a year, try getting it off a window. It bonds, right? It bonds even more. It releases it releases the kraken. <laughs> Check that out. All right, now that we have tape all around, double-sided tape all around, you're gonna get yourself some uh, some of this stuff, some craft paper. It's gotta be thick, though. I like to use brown because I like to make it look crafty and I don't use white. So I'm gonna cut a piece. This is very simple stuff, guys. I'm giving you guys, I'm giving you guys some cool stuff, some cool, the cool things here because I know a lot of artists don't do that and I'm not stingy like that. Look at that. We're going to cover it right here. Okay. As long as it doesn't fight. Now, I want to do it right on the corner and I'm going to show you why. Okay. Just cover the whole thing like this. Look. It's alright. It's alright if it fights you a little bit. It doesn't have to be perfect, it just has to be neat, okay? Bam! Cut the excess. Absolutely. Okay, now you press on it. Here's where the magic starts, okay? Here's where the magic starts. It's like magic. This is how you're going to do it. You're going to get a, a clean blade. It's got to be a clean new blade. Okay? Don't get it all dirty with like tape and whatnot. Don't like it has to be a brand new tape, a brand new blade for this to work. Okay? This is what you're going to do. 
you're gonna cut like this, okay? Right in the corner, you're gonna feel where the corner of the frame is, and then you're gonna put it, and you're gonna cut that way, okay? Look, you see? You're able to see that? And then you're gonna press your blade a little bit onto the frame. You see? Well, I guess I didn't do it right right there. There we go. There we go, like that. You flip it around, you're gonna do the same thing right here. Bam! Some serious stuff in this art studio. Bam! Look at that. Check it out. You seen anything nicer than this? Hell no. <laughs> Look at that. Isn't this cool? Super cool. Now you're wondering, oh, well, that looks really nice, but how are you going to hang it? Fear no more. The doctor's here. We're going to hang it now. We're going to put some hanging wire and hanging stuff. As long as I can find them. With my hanging stuff. Oh, here they are. I buy these babies by the hundreds. I should buy them by the thousands. Check it out. It only needs one little, because it's it's a little painting. For bigger paintings, I use I use bigger ones. He the heavier it is, the bigger I use it. it. Doesn't have to. It's not the size. It's the heaviness. Okay. So now we're gonna get two of these little babies. Bam! All right. And we're gonna get two of these little babies. Make sure they're little. They're like a they're like a quarter of an inch long. Because they're going to go inside the frame and, and, and frames have different widths. Okay, so make sure that these are little, but they're strong. Okay, how do you know they're strong? They're not so thin. They're a little bit thick. That's how you know they're strong. Okay, bam. There we go. And now you're going to find your top part of your, of your painting. This is the top, right? The signature is at the bottom. I'm going to flip it. Here's my top. Okay. You're going to get a pen, a marker, whatever you want. It doesn't matter at this point. And you're going to get a ruler. Okay. And you're going to measure from top to bottom. From top to bottom. I want it to be three and a half inches. Why? Because I'm, I'm looking for the first about quarter. The first 20% or 30% at most. So it's going to be three and a half inches. Okay, that's for balance. You don't want it way up here. You don't want it down right here because you don't want it to do any of this stuff. You want it to hang straight. So that's why you want to look for the first quarter. Okay, man, I'm fucking magical. <laughs> then you can take one of these bad boys. <laughs> you don't have to. You, you can use a, 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 a regular screwdriver, but I ain't got time for screwdrivers around here. And then... The tip of this, you want it to touch that, okay? And then you go, bam, just like that, guys. If I make this any more simpler, I'm gonna die. Can't make it any more simpler than this. Bam. Okay, let's press on a little bit more. There we go. Now, you're going to get some of this stuff. These are mean. Okay, be careful with this one. These are mean. They're serious. You get some hanging wire. You're going to measure about how much you need. You know, put a little bit extra. Just so that you can wrap it. Right? Bam. You see? Look at that. Now all you do is do a little wrap. 
Not like a hip hop rap. If you want to, totally cool. You can rap. Bam! There we go. You just tie it around. Make sure you give it a little bit of lag right here. Don't make it too tight. The, the tighter you make it, I understand the closer it's going to be to the wall. I know that. You guys know that, those of you who've done this before. But if you give it a little, a little lag, see oil paintings, usually you want them to do a little bit of this. Not so much just straight up. Straight, if you want it to be so tight and, and close to the wall, it's the more, the more uh, contemporary, almost frameless, frameless paintings. Uh, it's it's kind of for that, okay? More like more like your abstract, very abstract, frameless pieces, thick thick gallery wraps. Then you want to make this tight. They look so cool, okay? Do another video for those. Look at that, muy macho. Check it out. See, that's exactly what I'm talking about. So now, what do you do? Oh my God, what do you do now? Simple. You're gonna get one of these babies. Okay, certificate of authenticity. You're gonna write its name. Medium and size. Okay. And then you're gonna do this, because I, I cool like that, I'm sharing all kinds of cool stuff. You get a little piece of double sided. Don't worry about like stuff right now in this in this process. Don't worry about like, oh my god, is that like uh, what's that word that museums like to use? I forgot. Acid free and whatnot. By the way, guys, most almost most papers today, the gl the glues of the of the of the tape, the glues are not acid free for the most part, but the papers are. So it's it's too much to worry about in the beginning. Let museums worry more about that stuff. And if you're selling at high a higher price points or your or your more uh, expensive pieces, then maybe you want to do that. Okay. Bam! Check it out. This looks so good. It almost makes me want to keep it, not sell it. <laughs> it makes me want to keep it. I want to keep it. It almost makes me not want to sell it. It almost makes me want to keep it. But you know what, guys? Uh, you, you, you have to sell them. You have to get them out there into the world. Get them into the world. You got to get them out into the world. The world needs to, needs to have them. The world needs to see them. I want to show you something. I want to show you something. Something so cool like that. Just a second, guys. I don't know if I'm out of those. I might, I might be out of those. I want to show you a little extra something that a little extra, a little extra mm, that I put there. And I think I'm, I'm out of them. Yeah. Anyways, it was worth a try. It was worth a Google. Yeah, I don't know where I left them. I usually put some uh, little corner foams. Corner foams right here. You know, for the wall. Yeah. So, there you guys have it. Look at that. Any of the, any of the coolest thing you guys have seen? Yes, it is. And the crowd goes wild. Jose Trujillo, world's greatest living artist. You did it again. You've done it again, my friend. Look at that for context. That's a pen. Look at that. Isn't it cool? Then you put it in a little plastic bag like this. Okay. You get a little piece of tape like this. All right, for context, this is just to get you guys started. Those of you guys who are like, dude, I need to get started. This is how you get started. You get some bubble wrap. 
this is me just putting it away. This is not me shipping it. I'm gonna do a full tutorial on, on how you actually package for shipping because shipping's crazy, guys. I think I spend much more on, on shipping supplies than anything else. I think I spend more on shipping supplies than actual painting supplies. I know it's hard to believe, but shipping is serious. Shipping is a serious game. Because if you don't ship it correctly, that's where you lose, you lose it there. So shipping is always, it's, it's not the faint of heart. This is me just putting it away right now. Putting it away. Look at that. Bubble wrap and stuff. All right, check it out. Muy macho. <laughs> Guys, my name is Jose Trujillo. I am the world's greatest living artist. Just showing you guys a little sump sump right here. Maybe you guys can uh, get started on that. I don't know. I'm gonna put a. Uh, I'm gonna do a full tutorial. I know that you guys just watched it, and some of you guys are like, "Dude, I don't need no tutorial." But some of you are like, "No, dude, I actually want to know where you get this, and where you get this, where you get this." And, and 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 how far and blah 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 and like I want step by step. What are you? What if I'm not framing a frame like this? What if I'm framing with a frame like that? What if the the painting stretch canvas? It's not canvas like this. By the way, how do you do your certificate of authenticity? Fear no more. I got you. I've been listening to all the prayers. I've been listening to all the prayers out there, and I'm putting together a bunch of. Uh, guides and courses and stuff like that that I was like, dude, I, was, I wasn't going to teach none of this stuff. This is my jam. This is what I do. I do this for a living. I wasn't going to teach it. But some people were like, dude, you got to teach it. So, so I'm, 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 I'm starting to teach it. Okay, guys? I'm starting to teach it, and it's going to be super awesome. So take care. Uh, if you guys haven't gotten my Craigslist guide, I don't know what you guys are thinking of. I don't know what you guys are thinking. You guys are missing out. I'm the Craigslist guide. If you haven't sold artwork, if you don't know how to do it, if you haven't done it, that thing will get you started. It'll get you rolling. You don't even have to use it on Craigslist. You can use it somewhere else. You can, apply, you can even apply that on a gallery show. Those of you who are like, dude, I don't know. I don't want to use Craigslist. Don't use it on Craigslist. Use it on a gallery show. Use it on a dentist, uh, uh, I don't know, uh, lobby. Use it on a hotel lobby. I don't know. It doesn't matter where you use it. You, 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 you want to be able to start understanding the psychology behind the thing. All right. There you guys have it. Take care. Adios.